Northern Health is introducing new programs to support people with mental illness or substance abuse issues. According to the organization, these programs will help bridge the gap between the region's current services and the needs that exist in the communities. These are meant to be supports for people that are currently struggling to either access what services are available or are finding that the barriers are too much to address or get around. A new psychiatric liaison nurse position will be added to hospitals in Fort St. John, Prince George and Prince Rupert. This new role will be used to support staff in the emergency department. The nurse will help assess the patient and recommend a treatment plan, whether that be through community-based programs or inpatient care. They'll often be the person that will um, take an extra bit of time and sit and um, do an assessment, um, ask some questions, and perhaps even do an intervention right there in the emergency department. Fort St. John will also receive community-based outpatient support teams that provide street and community outreach services to people dealing with mental illness or substance abuse and help connect them to the appropriate care. Providing services to a group of people who find it challenging to get their needs met. They're often underhoused, they're often not employed, they often have chaotic relationships with families and friends um, that make it difficult for them to just enjoy the regular activities of daily living. Both of the programs would be housed here at the Fort St. John Hospital with the hopes that it would alleviate some of the pressure off of emergency room staff and the RCMP. The emergency department in Fort St. John is very busy and sometimes people are waiting um, for long periods of time to get seen. The intensive case management team and the psychiatric liaison nurse position are also going to be able to support the RCMP. Northern Health says they are now in the recruiting phase and are expecting to have both programs up and running by the fall. Faisa Amin, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.